Hi, today we will do blood physiology. Types and derivatives of hemoglobin, part 3. You can also view our notes on the given link below in the description box. Just first like and subscribe. can also purchase our notes. For purchasing, you have to fill this form given in the description box. Now, what are the types of hemoglobin? What are the types of hemoglobin? First of all, we have adult hemoglobin. Adult hemoglobin is represented by HbA. Adult hemoglobin is represented by HbA and in fetus after 5 months it is seen. It is of mainly of two types, hemoglobin A and hemoglobin A2. Hemoglobin A has alpha 2 and beta 2 which is prominently seen in human beings as we all are. And what happens in hemoglobin A2? Beta chain is replaced by delta chain. So it has alpha 2 and delta 2 chain delta 2 chain that is seen 146 amino acids 2.5% of adult is having ABHBA2 and it is normal hemoglobin it does not cause any deficiency or diseases so what happened let's see amount of HBA of total hemoglobin 20 weeks of intrauterine life is 6% and at birth it is 20% and in 2 month it is 50% 4 month it is 90% and more than 1 year it is more than 99% means most of the human population have HbA HbA that is alpha 2 and beta 2 chains hemoglobin that's why it is called adult hemoglobin then next type is fetal hemoglobin. So what happened in fetal hemoglobin? Structure is same as HbA. Yeah. Only what happens? HbA may what happens? Alpha 2 and beta 2 chain. But what happened in fetal hemoglobin? Alpha 2 is same. Beta chain replaces by gamma 2. Beta chain is replaced by gamma 2. And there is same. 146 amino acid and what happened the 37th amino acid is different from that in beta chain 37th amino acid changes so what happened their resistance to action of alkalis increase more alkalis their action increases more Uses in photoelectric calorimetric method to estimate fetal hemoglobin in presence of adult hemoglobin. Means it is used in photoelectric calorimetric method that how much fetal hemoglobin is present in adult hemoglobin. It has more affinities towards oxygen. Why it has more affinity towards oxygen? Because of poor binding at 2-3 dpg alpha polypeptide chain sorry gamma polypeptide chain it has very poor binding site though what happened moment of oxygen maternal to fetus means from mother to fetus it get transferred so what happens 70 percent it is saturated and normal hemoglobin is 120 days in RBCs, so their lifespan get decreases 80 days and birth what happened it is mostly seen at the time of birth and it disappears after two to three months and if it persists then there are chances of disorders what happened in disorders there are decrease in beta chain beta chain if decreases then what happened beta chain decreases there are chances of thalassemia thalassemia there are two <laughs> there are two types of thalassemia alpha and beta alpha is very rare beta is more common 
why alpha is there because alpha chain never get replaced only beta chain replaces by gamma or something else so beta is of two types major or minor major is less and minor is more it is homozygous it is heterozygous means parent one parent is abnormal gene get had inherited all the hemoglobin means homozygous means all the hemoglobin is abnormal anemia how it is moderate to severe and in this it's mild what happen in major beta chain is completely absent and in minor it is partially present what happen in major fetal hemoglobin level is more and it is slightly less lifespan is decreases means person has very small life and in this there is more life and in major what happens at 17 years 17 year mostly people die now third hemoglobin third type hemoglobin s this is also known as mendelian dominant hemoglobin because glutamine acid is replaced by valine at the sixth position beta polypeptide chain of hemoglobin a at sixth position is replaced by glutamic acid to valine hemoglobin s is less soluble hemoglobin s is less soluble so what happen it precipitates the crystals so then within rbc is what it does do cell membrane damage this is the rbc this rbc cell membrane got damage and rbc is fragility got more means and rbc is become sickle shaped rbc is become sickle shaped or hook shaped like this there is decrease in blood flow to tissues It's because of sickle in shape of rbc's and it may lead to sickle cell anemia there are other hemoglobin also that is known as hemoglobin c hemoglobin e hemoglobin g hemoglobin i and hemoglobin m what happen in hemoglobin c is equal to hemoglobin s but there is not any sickling all of these are hemolytic anemia now we will do derivatives of hemoglobin so first of all is oxyhemoglobin oxy as the name suggest oxygen and hemoglobin oxygen and hemoglobin so how we will write hbo2 h hemoglobin plus oxygen is oxyhemoglobin so how its affinity increases and ph temperature concentration of as we have done previous also 2 3 dpg dpg means diphosphoglycerate in the rbcs it get increases and decreases if it decreases dissociation curve is shifted to right like this and therefore more blood transfer to tissues like this carbo oxy carbo amino hemoglobin means carbon dioxide plus oxygen gives carbo amino hemoglobin it means hbnh2 gives hbnhcoh then is deoxygenated hemoglobin it is also known as reduced hemoglobin means hemoglobin in which oxygen is completely removed that is known as reduced or deoxygenated hemoglobin and it is represented by hb then is carboxy hemoglobin means carbon monoxide plus hemoglobin we known as carboxy hemoglobin it has 2 to 10 well 2 110 210 times more affinity to oxygen and displaces oxygen on hemoglobin therefore decreases oxygen carrying capacity to the blood 
then we have methemoglobin then we have methemoglobin what happened in methemoglobin there is oxygenated hemoglobin is exposed to various drugs what happened in methemoglobin iron oxidized into means ferrous form is oxidized into ferrous form and we can represent it as hboh what are the disadvantage of methemoglobin methemoglobin cannot unite reversely with gaseous oxygen and it is dark color when present in large quantity so blue color discoloration occurs which is also known as cyanosis and hemoglobin methemoglobin sometimes represent normally but enzyme which is present in rbc's that to nada that is dihydronicotinamide adenine dinucleotide what happen enzyme gets converted nada with hemoglobin reductase synthase morphose back to system methemoglobin absence of the hereditary methemoglobin that leads to fetal fatal condition